A UK-based company is looking to revolutionise the dairy industry by utilising a process known as precision fermentation. It's the latest in the fight against climate change and could mean the milk of the future may no longer come from cows. Come on, then. Dairy cows. They need a lot of food and an awful lot of land. Usually, that's bad for the planet. Now, plans are afoot to produce a new kind of dairy without a single udder being squeezed. In East London, they're using yeast to brew the protein in milk, much like you would brew beer. We then take these reprogrammed yeasts and we put them in these fermenters, and that allows us to brew large batches of the milk protein casein. And casein is what gives uh, cheese its melt, its stretch, its gooeyness. They add it to a plant base to make their own kind of cheese. It is molecularly identical to the protein in milk, but vegan. And, they say, it's just as safe. Prior to this, you know, people tend to have to make a trade-off, really, in terms of either being sustainable or enjoying good food. So the idea behind what we're building here is that we want to produce products that taste as great as traditional dairy without using any animals as part of the production process. This method of precision fermentation isn't new. It's already used to make things like insulin and food supplements. But industry hopes it could revolutionise food production. Because if all dairy and meat can be made in a lab like this, you don't need any farmland. And that matters, because dairy farming and feed takes up the equivalent of 20% of UK land. But we're supposed to be eating 20% less dairy and meat to hit climate targets. Industry says lab-grown dairy can cut emissions by up to 97%. But it could take years before lab-grown meat and dairy hit the shelves. They need approval first, and although the industry is expected to boom, products won't come cheap. And some argue it's not about cutting out meat and dairy. Instead, eating less but better quality. There are a growing number of cows in the UK who are permanently housed indoors. They're fed on crops sometimes imported from overseas, and it's quite unsustainable. But actually, there's a role for, for ruminant animals, for cows. They can um, contribute to soil health if grazed appropriately. They can help manage habitats. Um, but if we farm like that in a more nature-friendly way, we're not going to produce as much dairy or cheese as we do today. So whether we are eating less or an alternative, as long as we're facing a nature crisis, scientists say, Something about the way we eat has to change.